Okay, so uh, let's attempt this one. It says the equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction hydrogen gas plus carbon dioxide gas goes to water gas plus carbon monoxide gas is 4.2 at uh, 1650 degrees Celsius. Initially, a 0 0.80 um, mole um, of hydrogen and 0 0.80 a uh, mole sample of carbon dioxide were injected into a five liter flask. Calculate the concentration of each of these um, species at equilibrium. Okay, so let's go about doing this. So they're giving us the case C, so that means the concentration in molarity. Okay, so if we look here, We've got number of moles, number of moles, and volume. So those aren't molarity, but from those numbers we can get the molarity, okay? So, how do we do that? Well, let's take these N's and replace them with M's, capital M for molarity. So what's the molarity? It's going to be the number of moles divided by the flask volume divided by Okay, <clears throat> so when we do that, we're going to get 0 0.16 molar hydrogen and 0 0.16 molar carbon dioxide. Is everybody okay with doing that first? Yes. So let's now, so we've got the value for Kc, but we don't have the Kc expression. Okay, and remember we get that Kc expression from the balanced reaction equation, which we have a balanced reaction equation up here. Let's go ahead and write out what the expression for Kc would be. Well, remember it's going to be the product raised to their coefficients. So concentration of, that is, so concentration of water times the concentration of carbon monoxide divided by the reactants raised to their coefficients. So this one is a fairly straightforward um, Kc. So I'm actually going to need this middle piece, this room in the uh, middle for writing an ice table, as you guys have predicted already, I see. Um, would you mind if I erase this portion? Is everybody okay with that? Minus 
So this, of course, also equals x squared divided by 0.16 minus x squared. Like that. Okay, so we can take the squares out and make um, the whole thing squared. So let's just put in 4.3, because that's the value. Oh, 4.2, sorry. 4.2, because that's the value for KC. So we're going to have 4.2 equals x divided by 0.16x, and we're going to square the whole thing. Okay, so how do we get the square out of there? We take the square root of both sides. Okay, so the one side is going to be x divided by 0.16 minus x. And the other side is going to be square root of 4.2 which is 2.05. It's actually going to be to two significant figures, so we'll clear that up in a little bit, okay? Um, but let's just keep the three significant figures right now. Um, so, now let's try to isolate x. So, how do we do that? Multiply both sides by uh, 0.16 minus x. So times 2.05 equals x, like that. So let's multiply that by 2.05 times 0.16. So that's going to be 0.16. So we'll reduce this now, finally, to two sig figs here. So 0 0.33 minus uh, 2.05x equals x. Okay, so move this over to the other side. So this is going to be 3.05 x equals 0 0.33, like that. And then figuring out x, x is going to be 0 0.33 divided by 3.05. And that should give us to 2 sig figs so Okay, so I get 0 0.11 molar for x. Okay. So these here are the concentrations at initial, or these initial concentrations. So what are the equilibrium concentrations? Let's figure that out now. So we figured out x, so that's going to give us all we need to figure out these equilibrium concentrations. And then the 
concentration of H2O at equilibrium? Well, that equals X, right? So that's going to be 0 0.11 molar, like that. And the concentration of carbon monoxide at equilibrium is also X, so it's also 0 0.11 molar. Okay. Any questions on that one? Okay, so that was an ice table one, uh, pretty involved, but not too terribly complicated, okay? Thank you.